Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and in this video I've got a really nice little offensive attack drill. A lot of times when you're thinking offensive attack drills, you you know, the attack triangle comes to mind, you know, attacking from the neutral zone or whatever. This one's a little bit different. This one is an attack from the standpoint when you're already in the zone. So this one actually works off a little bit of a cycle, then a give and go, and a little one-timer shot on net. So here's what the drill looks like. We'll pull up the rink, take a look at it. As you can see, we've got three lines. Um, to start the drill, let's just talk about doing it with two lines, and these two lines will work together, and then you can run it from the opposite side of the ice. This is a, it can be used as a half ice drill if you want to, um, or you can just have you know players in all four corners going and alternating through and you know kind of keeping the pace up that way. But uh, this is what the drill looks like. So on the whistle, the first player in the corner line is going to leave with a puck, come up the boards, and then kind of start making a cut as if he's going to go through the seam. Now this is obviously a very realistic game situation. You get the puck in the corner, walk up the boards, a possibility of attacking the seam. As this is happening, as soon as he kind of turns that corner to cut the seam, what he's going to do is execute a little bump pass, a cycle pass, back off the boards, and kind of into this area right here. Now this is going to start looking a little complex with crisscrossing lines and stuff, but the drill itself is pretty straightforward. Um, as he as he executes that, that that bump pass, that cycle pass, the first player in the blue line or the line at the blue line is going to come down, pick up the puck, and drive down low, just like this. Okay, so he's driving low, he or she is driving low, and after that cycle is made, the player who made the pass is going to drive up through the seam and toward the net. Okay, and in case you haven't guessed, then we're going to have a give, so it's a cycle, and then basically this is a cycle give and go. So cycle give and go, uh, pass out, and then one time shot. So that's the, the first phase of this. Now, as you want to get more complex, then you add this next line into the play. So instead of just the cycle give and go, and then the one time shot, then what you're going to do is, let me just erase some of these lines. So what you're going to do is instead of just executing your regular cycle give and go to the one time shot, this player is going to come up and across, drill starts as usual, this player is going to come up and across, and then the first player in the other corner is timing it out. So he or she is timing it out so that he can arrive at the back door um, on time when this player is ready to make the pass. So now the pass comes out from the corner, a little one touch across and a one-time shot from the back door. So just another nice little option that you can use. Um, both of these are very realistic game situations and um, you know, take a look, you know, use it, do both of them and get your team used to seeing these patterns. The give and go out of the corner is one of the most effective offensive tactics in my opinion. So that's your cycle give and go drill. Make sure you visit us at weisstechhockey.com for the PDF printout, drill draw, and hockey share import files for this drill.